Hi. So before we get started, a few words about me. My name is Tannas. I have a background in robotics, and I'm currently working as a cloud engineer for the University of Oslo, where we are building an open source cloud solution for research and education sector in Norway. Um, and in my spare time, I am actually code, build robots, and I'm passionate about computer ethics, diversity, and inclusion in the tech industry. So it took decades before tech industry realized that people who are working with tech industry are actually important in order to achieve better results for companies. A success factor for teams are the ability to evaluate and reflect on how they work together. And most of the teams that work together, they don't get that space and opportunity to look at they, how their team dynamics are, uh, about whether everyone is having a voice, whether everyone is participating in discussions, or someone is silent empire time, or someone is streamrolling someone else. And if people in their teams are silent, why are they silent? For many years, the IT world was defined by divisions of roles. To illustrate it better, I want you to imagine a wall with people on both sides. People who barely know each other. So by now, maybe you should understand what I'm going to talk about. Developers on one side and operation on the other side. Developers created code and then threw it over the wall. And after that, the code was the operations problem. In the traditional model of software development, we have developers who are like, their, their goal is speed and new changes. They want to make new features as quickly as possible. And we have operations who wants to maintain stability and minimize downtime. Because operations are measured by their uptime. And to increase uptime, they need to decrease changes. while Developers teams want to create new changes and they want to deploy it. And every time you deploy new changes to the system, you introduce new risk to the system as well. And these two goal goals ended up being in opposition with one another. But both goals were important. And as they had a wall in between, they couldn't accomplish their, uh, their work as good as they should be able to. Maybe you've heard about the crisis that ran, ran around for 20, 30 years ago, before my time. So <laughs> companies were spending time on fixing software problems than creating software in the first place. By that time, where systems were out, they were full of bugs and unwanted features. Technical people were stuck with waterfall um, model. That's what uh, most, of the know, uh, most of you know is that there are different phases in linear or sequential phases that each phase is dependent on the previous one. And each area with own set of engineers. So it took several months or even a year before new changes could be deployed to the production. During that period of time where everyone in the IT world were complaining about how creating software uh, was or how uh, hard it was, a group of ID people got together to talk about what was the problem with software world. And they wanted to create something opposite of the waterfall. They came up with Agile. Agile is actually an adjective that describes the software development is a mode of being. And it is not a noun that maybe most of the people might know. Two of the most uh, known Agile methodologies are Scrum and Kanban. So the concept of Agile fundamentally resonated with people because it basically says that the focus is on people over process and it's the focus is on interaction and collaboration over tools and documentation. So now we change the focus to the people that work in small batches in a highly interactive and iterative manner. And the goal is to establish business goals and adjusting them based on customer's feedback, and continuous planning. Now that teams started working in agile kind of teams, uh, they had some, still had some problems. 
because this time it was because of lack of document, uh, lack of communication. And this is where we had to fill the gap. We needed something to force people to work together. And it was something that needed to be rooted in communication. There had to be something that could bring people together to share same goals equally, both speed and stability. And finding a way to, finding a solution or build a tool that we could frequently deploy something to the system and at the same time maintain stability. And both these goals met in a much more robust way when we put those teams together and we came up with DevOps. Uh, so we went from the waterfall with a long planning system and long test and releasing cycle to agile with a short smile pieces releasing very frequently and ops teams could react immediately to customer needs if something needed to be changed. Uh, agile teams rely on automated build, test automation, continuously uh, in interaction and um, delivery while DevOps use all those teams and more, uh, such as configuration management, metrics, monitoring, visualization, and cloud computing. DevOps is actually by practice practitioners for practitioners. Those who are creating DevOps movement and working with DevOps are people who are actually working on uh, such uh, development teams. They are people who are technical on the ground and working with um, these solutions. And while we are talking about DevOps, so I think that I should mention what DevOps is not. This is not a, DevOps is not a tool, but tools are essential to success in DevOps. It's not a standard, there's no standard in DevOps. It's not a product, not a job title, but it's a culture of collaboration between different teams uh, within uh, entire organization. So this is where we put both dev and operation teams together and now they share the same goals and pulling the same goals to the same direction. And it is all about communicating and working together. And this is where we bringing the benefits of diverse teams together as well. Adopting new capability typically requires a plan that spans both people, process, and technology. There are a few specific techniques that are needed to be included in adopting DevOps, such as continuous improvement, releasing planning, continuous integration, integration continuous delivery, testing, monitoring, um, and feedback. And this is not a one-time process, but it's an ongoing process. Talking about DevOps, we cannot not mention Dev DevSecOps, which is the mashup of development, security, and operation. This is where we include security people into our big, happy DevOps family. It's, uh, we, in this pipeline, we put security right before we deploy code to the production and right after that the code is in the production. So we monitor the code whole time for security issues. And as we know, security teams don't really like new changes because every new changes introduce potential uh, security risk to the system. So now we including them in the pipeline from the beginning, and now they are sharing with the sharing same mm, goals with us as well. Uh, I should also mention that yeah, the DevOps mindset is about not only including security into DevOps, but also including more and more parts of the dif different parts of the organization to share and to produce the same goals as well. So Agile and DevOps as they rules are a culture of movement. It's all about people. An organization can adopt like essential process and many tools, but those tools are not possible or uh, if, if we are not including people, they are useless without people who are eventually going to use those systems and make changes to those processes. 
so some of the tools that Agile Teams has can help us to like struct to make teams with better structure and framework to create more functional and diverse uh, functional and diverse teams. But is when I'm talking about diversity, it's not only diversifying teams on the same task, but also different tasks. And this is the same fundamental when we are talking about like having different people in the teams from different backgrounds, because when we have multiple people that are looking at the problem and trying to solve the problem, uh, the possibility that they come out with a better outcome is much more, because when we have different and multiple thoughts, we will bring more innovative and creative products to the company as well. Uh, what I personally like about DevOps and Agile is that even something as simple as a daily stand-up gives a chance to people that are hard time being heard. So they can talk and introduce themselves. And another thing is that it's really great for team working because now we can stop and reflect immediately. Like if there's some new changes that you want to have in your code, so you can just bring it to the next sprint and evaluate how, the, how they work. And so this is actually what I'm working with. This is the culture that we have at work. Um, and this is not that we only work across the DevOps teams, but it's also about that we are working across the geographical um, distances because we are working for two different universities in different cities in Norway. And as we have this culture, so we don't feel that these stands that are beating us. We have DevOps, uh, we have Scrum um, stand up, and we have Scrum boards, and we do everything as a code. And as we have that culture, so it is really easy for us to work together, because if one team wanted to pull the goals to their direction, it would be really difficult. And by that, I just want to leave you with one thought that bring, bring your teams as diverse as possible because when we are diverse, we can like build better products, better environment, and we can benefit everyone involved. So, yeah, thank you. <laughs>